Hey everybody and welcome to my channel once again. Did you ever want to change an already existing method in a class but you aren't sure how to do that? Today we're going to talk about the decorator pattern but first let's see the alternatives we have to it. Well the first alternative you would have is inheritance. You know many people will just tell you okay you have your parent class then you create a child class and you already find your method there. But wait a minute. <laughs> Did you think if that class, that new class you are creating, is really a specialization of that parent class? Or are you just doing that in order to redefine the method? Because if it's the case, that's the case, chances are that you are going to have problems later with that. And also, think that in many languages, like in Ruby, you only can have one parent class so that dependency is super limited so in my opinion you think about it very wisely before deciding that you are going to go with inheritance and the second alternative many people will advocate for is monkey patching you know this is the easy one as in ruby you know you can open classes then you just alias the old method, redefine the new, I mean, the old one you wanted to, to change, put your reference in there and voila, you are done, right? But wait a minute, what happens if, for example, other person decides to redefine that class within your project? Or worse even, what if you are using a gem and other gem just decides to monkey patch that same class and that same method why not as you can see there are many flaws with that approach so for that in order to have a better solution we're going to see the decorator pattern the decorator pattern to be honest is nothing new it was already described by the gang of four in 1995 in this design patterns book and this is what they say about the pattern in the intent they say that the decorator attaches additional responsibilities to an object dynamically, as we will see. And also that decorators provide a flexible alternative to subclassing, that is inheritance, for extending functionality. The great thing about Ruby, doing this the Ruby way, is that we don't need this structure here with abstract classes and concrete components and decorators and everything that you will need for other languages like java or c++ instead we will see that we can solve this in a very elegant way in ruby by just mixing modules and to do that we are going to see an example so let's see this with an example really quick we are going to pretend that we are modeling a role game here and we are having also a king character and this character is going to have an equipment and we are going to redefine the equipment that the character has based on the decorators that we mix in into these objects here. So to do that we are going to open an interactive Ruby session here and we are modeling this uh, king class that we said and we are also creating an initializer in which we provide a name which we save as an instance variable um, because this will as this will make later easy, easier to us to know which king are we referring to and then we have this equipment method and it's going to just return an array an array with a sword which is going to be the default equipment for a king of course every queen every king sorry needs to have a sword um, and then also we are redefining the inspect method so the object um, is printed nicely and we can easily know everything this object has um, the equipment here It. and then let's create our first king which is going to be the king Arthur Arthur okay as you can see we have created this king which 
a sword as a default equipment and then we are also going to create the King Aragorn. Good. So both kings, as good kings, have sword and then let's redefine this or better said add functionality for these objects for this equipment method by mixing in modules so the decorators in ruby with this technique are going to be modules um, let's say that we want some kings to have a shield so we are going to create a shield decorator which is just going to redefine this method which is the equipment is going to say okay to super to the super method um, let's add a shield here right so let's say for example that Arthur we feel that Arthur the King Arthur has a shield or needs a shield and Aragorn is too brave and he doesn't so to do that we are just saying Arthur and then extend to mix in the module and we are then we are extending it with the shield decorator right so as we can see right now Arthur has a sword and a shield but Aragorn the other object just has a sword right and the same thing we could do the same thing for example and if our we felt that in our kings our characters uh, should have a armor right because a king should have an armor right so to protect the king so we do it in the same way which is we declare a module um, for the decorator let's say armor decorator and again the equipment say super yep super and the armor right and because all kings are very important we say that all of them should have the armor and we say aragorn we extend it also with the armor decorator and as you can see now both kings have an armor of course you could do that also here having probably a, an instance variable and started um, putting I mean the equipment into this array but in this case you see that we don't have an instance variable we are just redefining the equipment method in in your daily job that would mean that for example you have an already existing method that does something already in a gem and then you just want to let's say add log into that or you want to do an extra action so will you you will just call super in your case and then add your functionality there and you're done and that's it as you can see it was really easy to add functionality to already existing objects you could also do that with classes, but in, at this time, I'm going to leave that to you as an exercise. If you want me to do that, of course, you just only need to write me a comment down below in the comment section and tell me, Alberto, I want you to do this exercise for me. And then of course I will make a video about it if I see that people have interest on the topic. And also in case you have any other questions, anything you want me to talk about, just leave me a comment down below and to end the video of course I want to ask you if you like the video please subscribe to the channel also smash the like button it doesn't cost you anything and for me it helps me a lot so thanks for watching and see you in my next video adios